Oh, there he goes again. You want to keep one? I, they already have two for us. Oh, they're not. Well, it's Monday. And we got the shanty off this weekend. So that's put away for the season. Now we're going up north to try something different. We're going after Pike on Champlain. So it'd be nice to try something new here. There's no snow up here, so it might be pretty slick out there. About 39 degrees. Yeah. And about the time we get all set up, it's supposed to be a better chance of snow and rain. So we'll see. My uncle's renting a camper out there. So that'll be cool. We'll see what that setup looks like. So at least we'll hopefully be able to stay dry. But it'd also be nice if we're chasing flags all day. So we'll see you out there. What is it? Pickerel. Or pike. You got him now. You got him face first now, I think. There you go. Pull him up and just slide him on the hole. There you go. Another nice one. You got him hooked right there, too. See, you got him right by the mouth. Probably if you want to hold, yanked it real hard, he probably would have came out. Hold him up. Just fish. Look at the holes in his head. About, probably about the size of that last one. Not as heavy. How does it feel? So this is going to make what four northerns and two bass. Yep. Do I just try to take a hook at him right there? Yeah. And drop this. Oh, I was going to okay. She feel. Oh. 
There's no thing on this one. Um, no, there's something on here. I think. It's moving around like it is. Yep. Something big? No, whatever. No, it's not very big. Well, well that attitude is not. Yeah. light on the bottom. <laughs> mm, look at that. He's seen a seen a thing or two. Got it. There, save the bait. You know, whatever you want to do. How deep is this here? It's, it's all about eight feet. to twelve feet. <laughs> Keep looking at the sled, thinking there's flags up. Feel anything? There it goes. I don't think that was a dead log. I think there's a fish there. Do it again. Pull him in. Set the hook. Oh, I I did when we when I first felt him. I pulled it pretty good. What's your What's your leader weight? Pretty thin. This here is pretty thin, but down lower it's, it's more. That's like eight pound. I think. Yeah. Okay. This is Brian. I don't got leader on mine. Uh -huh. Mine goes right from tip up right onto a steel leader. And yeah, there's, right there's the, the leader. Brian likes to have it that way so he has to play with it. Yeah. You got one of those electric reels and that thing flies out of the water when it gets to the top of the hole? <laughs> He's got a pretty no, cool... I don't have that. Have you ever heard of pop-up tip-ups? Pop-up tip-ups. He's got one. I'll have him show you. I've never heard of them before, but it's kind of cool. Yeah. That should only be about six, eight feet long. Now, it'll go onto a leader and the leader is... It's like 50 pound test. There's the leader. There it is. There's the leader. There's the leader. Ta-da. Alright, got company. Alright, got company. No pressure. We're just all watching you. Another <laughs> one. Wow! Look at the size of that one. Takes a real fisherman to catch them. Yeah. They got small mouths. Hard to catch them with small mouths. There you go. Dangerous for days, folks. Oh, that pucker is the hand second there. fish I've jigged. <laughs> Punkin see. Punkin see. Oh, 
hard mouth, it hard to set. I don't like the trout. Soft mouth, eh? Still on? He took some line, didn't he? Yeah. What's that? Oh yeah, that's oh. nice. 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 Not fires? Yeah, that's the word, Mal. Thank you.